All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to do my perm rods on freshly washed and detangled hair. My leave-in conditioner is already applied. You guys know the Meow is my favorite one to use. This is the mousse that I'm going to use. And unfortunately, this is the only mousse that I have. So this was going to have to work because I was not leaving my house to go get some more mousse because just no. So... This is all I have, just don't come for me, please, because I don't have time for that. Anyway, now I'm gonna use my spray bottle and it has warm water in here because I'm low porosity. You already know the drill. I'm gonna have some clips on the side and it really doesn't matter what kind of clips, just have some clips on the side. And I say you can use like a comb or a brush. I didn't use one at all doing my hair, but if you need one to smooth your hair out, go ahead and grab something for that. And then these are the perm rods I'm going to be using. They're the orange ones, and I have four packs of them right here. So I'm just going to start by twisting my little bantu knot out. Like I said, my leave-in is already applied. And um, yeah, I'm just going to take it down. And I kind of like to run my fingers through my hair just to make sure there's no tangles or anything like that. Then I'm going to take um, these sections. I'm going to kind of split them into two just so I can... You know isolate which ones I'm gonna do the perm right on then I'm just gonna clip the other hair out of the way now I'm gonna take a pump of my mousse and just run that through my through my hair I'm just using my fingers to kind of rake everything through but just really soft like if you ever use mousse to do your hair before you know you really don't need a whole bunch of pressure behind it because it's, it's just gonna glide throughout your hair All right, so now I'm just gonna twist my roots and I twisted my roots just to get a stretch on them because if not, sometimes they have a tendency to like stick to my head, which is not cute. So I'm just gonna twist up my roots really quickly. And then I'm gonna actually do the perm rod. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pulling it all the way down. And what I'm doing right here, I don't recommend you do because I actually had to go back and redo it. But you want to just make sure everything is smooth onto the perm rod and then wrap going upward and then wrap again. Well, pretty much until your hair is all the way up to the root. My hair is pretty short, so I don't have to wrap it that many times, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to do it one more time so you guys can see up close, you know? So I'm taking the section down. I'm finger detangling like I normally would. Then I'm gonna take some of my mousse and glide that throughout my hair so it can kind of clump my curls, give me some shine, definition, you know. Now I'm just gonna twist my roots to get a stretch on them. If you don't wanna twist your roots, obviously you don't have to, but my type four hair needs something. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the perm rod and this is how I did my entire head. I pulled it all the way down to the end and made sure the ends were like flat and smooth onto the perm rod. I know it's gross watching the mousse fall, but just rolling it all the way to the end and then wrapping it nice and tight all the way up. That's just gonna keep everything nice and smooth all the way throughout your hair. So I'm gonna do this all throughout my hair, guys. Like, just all throughout my hair. Taking a section, twisting the root, wrapping it, the whole nine. All right guys, so we are at the end of our perm rod journey. I am putting my last one in and it took me about an hour to do my entire head. And believe it or not guys, I still had some mousse left over after doing my entire head. That's insane, I know. 
I know. And I used about three packs of my orange perm rods. I bought four because I wasn't really sure how many I was going to use. But I ended up using three. That's 36 perm rods in total. And I let my hair dry throughout the day. And then I ended up going to sleep and taking them out the next morning. All right, guys. So I'm about to take my perm rods out. You already know I hate sleeping in any kind, any kind of like curlers or perm rods, flexi rods. It's just not my thing. Super, super uncomfortable. Last night wasn't that bad, but it's just not my thing. Um, I'm just gonna take my hair down. I did put some oil on my hands so that I don't, you know, so I can minimize like how much frizz I get on my hair. And I'm just gonna go in, guys, and twist, twist, and take these perm rods down. Doing the little unraveling method. I think this is like the most common way to do it, to take them down. Just go in like a little circle to make sure all the hairs are coming out. You're not making your hair any frizzier. Now, of course, some of my sections were not completely dry, so I just went in with my blow dryer and kind of like tried to centralize the air on there, but it literally did nothing. I had so many pieces in my hair, you guys, that were still like poofy, frizzy, just a mess, but I was not about to just like veto this entire hairstyle. So I tried to finesse it, I tried to save it, and I think it came out pretty good if I do say so myself. So I'm gonna take some oil and just rub that all throughout my hair and then just separate my curls. And this this part took me a nice amount of time, maybe 30, 45 minutes just to take down the curls along. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I am just doing a little bit of zhuzhing, you know, at the end, just to make it all look all nice, because you can actually still see some of the frizzy pieces. So I was trying to do my best to hide it, but it is what it is. Natural hair does what she wants to do. I'm actually really happy with the results. I never thought my hair could do this without heat. Like, I'm still blown that I did this on wet hair. You know what I mean? But it came out decent. I probably would have to do it again. Maybe incorporate a heavier cream or something. I don't know. But all in all, guys, I love how this came out. I hope you did too. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.